Now recall that our overall task is to find all association rules where the items appearing in the association rule are frequent items. So the item sets are frequent item sets and the rule itself has a high confidence. Now we define the support for an individual item set. Here this sentence says that we want association rules with a high support. What does it mean for support to apply to an association rule as opposed to an item set? Well, The support of an association rule can be just taken as the support of the set of items on the left hand side of the rule. So if you have a rule like I going to J, the support of this association rule is just the support of the set I. That means this, this set of items I needs to be a frequent item set. Okay, so this constraint just means that the set I needs to be a frequent item set and this constraint means that the rule itself should have a high confidence. Right, so if I has a high support, that is if I is a frequent item set, its support is larger than the, uh, the, the support threshold that we define. So I is a frequent item set and if this rule has a high confidence, then it's likely that J will also be a frequent item set. Right, so that means it's likely that J will be purchased by a large number of customers. So there's no harm in acting upon this association rule which has high confidence because if many people are purchasing items in the set I and if this rule has a high degree of confidence then many people are going to purchase the item J. So there's no harm in taking J and placing it close to items in the set I. Even if it turns out that this rule has a low interest that is if people are going to purchase J anyway regardless of whether or not they purchase I there is still no harm in placing J close to uh, the items in the set I that is there is no harm in acting upon this association rule even if it has a low interest. But going back to that overall problem where we want to find all association rules recall that I said we are going to find all association rules after first finding the frequent item sets. So the first step will be to find all the frequent item sets in the data and in the second step we will take these frequent item sets and then generate association rules for them. Now in the process of finding the frequent item sets we would be calculating the support for all the item sets right? because how do we find a frequent item set? We have to confirm that the item set we are looking at has a support larger than the support threshold. Only then will we call it a frequent item set. So if we know the support values for the various item sets, we can easily check the confidence of an association rule when we generate a rule because the confidence of an association rule will just be the support of all the items in that rule divided by the support of the items on the left hand side. We've seen this earlier. So we can just reuse the values of the support that we would have calculated in the first step when we were discovering the frequent item sets and we can generate association rules and as we generate those rules we just verify by calculating this confidence that the confidence of the rule is larger than some threshold and if it is larger than some threshold we will output it as one of the association rules that we are interested in. So we are going to proceed by first looking at how we use frequent item sets to generate association rules. Okay, so we are looking at step two first. The first step was to find the frequent item sets. We're going to look at that later on in this uh, lecture. 
But let's first look at how we can generate association rules if we are able to discover frequent item sets. So let's assume that we know what the frequent item sets are and what the support for all those frequent item sets is. So how you will you generate the association rules based on the frequent item sets? So let's consider an item set I which has K items and let's consider an association so uh, sorry we, we have to generate association rules from this frequent item set so I'm going to call this as a frequent item set how do we generate association rules from this frequent item set well let's just subtract one of the items from this item set okay so let's say I subtract the kth item so I'll be left with a set having k minus 1 items. So one rule could be I want to ik minus 1 on the left hand side going to ik on the right hand side. Right. So this is an association rule because this set has a high support. Okay, how do we know it has a high support? Because we said that this is a frequent item set so if this is a frequent item set the support of this item set is going to be high and moreover the support of any subset of this item set is going to be even more high because if all k of these items are appearing together a frequent number of times then obviously a subset of these k items will also be appearing a frequent number of times so this set on the left hand side will have high support and Moreover, because this is a frequent item set, it's likely that the confidence of this rule will also be high. It's not guaranteed. We still have to calculate the confidence of this rule by taking the support of all k of these and dividing it by the support of k, these k minus 1 items. But at least as a candidate association rule, it's, it's a good choice. It's, it's a good rule. Okay, so obviously, we have to satisfy both these constraints and what I'm claiming is that this constraint will be satisfied if we start from a frequent item set and generate this kind of an association rule. The, the item set on the left hand side will have a high support and we have to verify that the confidence is also high which we can do so by doing a simple division operation. This kind of a division operation. So we can do this by so we can generate all k association rules that are possible from this item set of size k by subtracting each of the k items in turn one by one so when we subtract the last item this is the association rule we get when we subtract the penultimate item we'll get a rule of this form i1 to ik minus 2 and ik on the left hand side and ik minus 1 on the right hand side so we are deleting the penultimate item and putting it on the right hand side and all the remaining items go on the left hand side so there are k possible rules that can be generated because we can delete any of these k items put it on the left hand side and take the remaining items and put them in a set on the uh, left hand side so starting from the set of all frequent item sets we can generate uh, k association rules for any item set of size k. So if we take all the frequent item sets and generate association rules for all of them, we will get a good set of candidate association rules which then we will pass through a filter. This, the filter will check that the rules have a high confidence and only those rules which have a high confidence will be able to pass through that filter. So the point here is that it's easy to take frequent item sets and generate association rules from them and check that the rules have a high confidence. So our task therefore reduces to how we come up with these frequent item sets in the first place.